Hey guys, welcome to the next video. I know it's not the next video for if someone who is just watching continuously because of just making uh, videos without stopping. So yeah. Well, what we're gonna do in this video, we basically are going to auto-generate thumbnails and we're gonna generate the video length of the video. So to auto-generate the thumbnails, what we have to do, we're saying if invalid in this section, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna say cut out. This is the title description. We first of all wanna do what? We wanna generate a thumbnail. So for generating generating the thumbnail, what we wanna do? We wanna have a we wanna give it a time frame. So we wanna have we wanna give FFMPG like how many thumbnails we how many screenshots we want out of the video and at what uh, in a location of the video at what length of the video. So we will ran we will let uh, it let randomly choose. We cannot it cannot randomly choose, but we have to. Uh, you know, actually, randomly uh, set the time, and we'll only want one screenshot, and that's it. So first of all, we need to say make a function for randomly generating the time. Constant random generate time is going to be a function. So if we first of all need the video time, right? So to get the video time, we'll say. Uh, constant video length in second is going to be get video duration in seconds. Yeah, we need to give it our file location, and this location is going to be exact location, like the full depth location. Okay, so we have to say path dot join. Dir name comma and then dot slash dot slash because we're gonna go two locations down. For currently we're in the controllers video folder. We wanna go out of the video folder and out of the controls folder. Then we'll be in the main directory. Then we can actually access our storage slash video slash our video name, which was defined right here. Okay, that's good. So once it get the video, it will get give us a seconds back, and then we can do the seconds. Then we can actually use the seconds. Okay. What about with this thing? Let me say da, da, da. I'm gonna get the video time in seconds. So here I will say video length in seconds. Da, da, da. Constant. I'm gonna first of all get a second. First of all, let's say days. So FMB requires time framing as day colon hours colon minutes colon seconds so the first of all days is going to be a constant second uh, second length is going to be our video length Okay, my cat is shit. Get the hell out of me here, man. Okay. Didi! You can never. You can never. Okay, second, we're getting the second from there. From the argument itself, we're gonna say first of all, day. We need the succulent divided by 86,400. One day has 86,400 seconds, so we're just going to divide it by that. Then we'll say constant uh, hours is going to be succulent percentage 86,400 uh, divided by 3,600. 
So what is basically saying? We're just saying, yeah, ignore this 86,400. So we're just saying, whatever hours, how many hours we have there, just ignore the hours thing, and uh, then whatever we is left behind, like except if there is any days, we're just gonna ignore. The, we're just gonna remove the days stuff like that from it, and then we're just gonna say, yeah, if there is some something like you know, is uh, there's something for the minutes, then get it. Something for the hours, then get it. Or we can just call it something like, you know, how would I say that thing to you? No, it will, it will make sense like that. So let's just keep understanding this thing right there, like this. And we'll have another one uh, for the hours, for the minutes. And for the minutes, we're going to have, first of all, second length should, on uh, Ignore over 86,400 400 mark. Then it has to ignore over 3,600 over hours also, and then we're gonna have divided by 60. It's going to be minutes basically. Okay. Then we'll have constant seconds. Second will have percentage 60. Whatever is that behind will be our seconds. I hope this thing actually is correct for now. Okay, we're getting this thing. We're seeing that. That's the one thing. Let's say return uh, D column, H column. M colon S sync console dot log random generate time. I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but we better found out find it out, right? Start uploading video test verified. Okay, we got issues. A lot of them basically. Random generate oh it's a function. We need to call it again. Again, upload the video. Test, upload the new thumbnail. Start uploading. Uploading is done. Something failed. Okay. None, 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 none. Holy crap. I guess the video length thing is not okay. We need to pass it something. We need to pass it. Video length and sense. Okay. Video. Not video. Videos. My bad. I gave it the wrong command. Let's try it out one more time. MKV. Give it some thumbnail. Test to start upload. None, 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 none. Okay. Wasn't expecting this thing to be honest, but. Oh, yeah, it is what it is. Let me say, first of all, console.log. Cycle land. Because I'm really not sure what is the cycle land actually being. So to do the things much faster, let's say one thing, let's say for now, let's don't have this thing, this condition stuff, okay? Because if you don't have it, we can just keep uploading the videos again and again, without having to wish the other thing, start upload, okay, what do we see? Promise pending. Alrighty. Oh wait, get video duration. We 
me delete the current videos. Let me just make it upload a new one. Okay, good. Finally, we're getting to see something. I want to make sure that all of them are to fixed. To fix zero, actually. We can say. Math dot floor all of them, and then we want to get them back. I want to just delete this one also. Start uploading all that again. What do we get back? We get zero 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 fourteen, and that's correct, right? Because this video is only fourteen seconds long, so we're only getting fourteen seconds. And we'll say another thing also. We'll say, uh, let's not say anything else for now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so we're getting this thing, and that's correct. We're gonna get the D. We're gonna say, first of all, math dot random multiply with the D. Multiply with the M with the second. Multiply with the minute. It's just gonna give us random, you know digit out of it with our and we want to make sure that all of them are having some kind of dot they are actually string types and they have a patch pad start with zero with max length of this two and uh, they should have a zero with them uh, like this let me show you this thing what we're having here we're just getting a zero zero fourteen we want to make sure all of them are if they are zero, one is zero 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 one four, just like that. I'll we'll, we'll just copy this later statement. I applied for all of them. This is going to be the day. This is going to be the hour. This one is going to be for the minutes, exactly to be sure. This one is going to be for the seconds. And yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, so we're getting here duh, 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 this thing. Six point blah 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 stuff like that. So maybe this math of floor here it doesn't have any work to do now. As of now, right? Because we already made it work, but let's now we have to say it here. In this return statement. I know this return statement got a lot more complicated than we wanted it to be. Well, I can make it better. I can make it better. Just don't worry, okay? Also, constant array is going to contain our day, day, our minute, and second. I think just get rid of all of them. Let me just first of all fix this thing. It is going to be the math random this thing. Uh, math plus floor. Okay, nice. We'll say here array dot map the element multiply by the element. I want to join all the uh, all the elements with a colon. So we're just joining the, all the arrays with a colon in between. So I guess it should be working right now. Say upload again. Good. Now we get a random minute, random second, and this is our working statement wasn't much more complicated I try to make it as clean as possible so I hope you got this statement we're just you know ignoring all the old things and then we're just getting the new things so in the second we didn't have to divide it by some anything because it already was second itself right okay good now we can use the FMPG statement itself and say FFMPG dot FFMPG we need to give it the path so FFMPG needs the accurate path of the thing I guess this video duration doesn't need the accurate path, but the FMPG needs it. 
also some like a uh, constant in video path is going to be this so that I don't have to just you know define it everywhere I can just say video path wherever we need it FFMPG needs a video path and then the function we want we can say screenshots screenshots I'll just say screenshots and then it need the number I will say count is going to be okay count is going to be only one file name is going to be basically UUID dot random UUID function okay I need I need fixes for this thing I'll just tell you this thing so just saying if there is no thumbnail I wanna do this thing I wanna say first of all let uh, thumbnail name is going to be an empty string if this is not the thing I wanna say if there is no thumbnail, there was no thumbnail, I want to say thumbnail is equal to, going to be equal to uid dot, dot random uid plus dot jpj, we are not generate the dot jpj format, okay so you can just say, yeah, file name is going to be thumbnail thumbnail name, and then we want to give it the folder where it is going to be saved, and that is going to be exactly Like the thumbnail path without the thumbnail ID. B thumbnail path, but the high a uh, half path only, right? This thumbnail path plus our Oh, we just need to say the folder. Where, where, what is the folder name? We don't need to say the file name, right? Yep, I guess that should do it. And we need the time. Uh, time max. Time max is going to be our this mister. Is it should be inside an inside an array? Okay, so yeah, it has to be inside an array. There we go. If this is not the case, then we'll say else. Thumbnail name is going to be equal to request dot files dot thumbnail the first index dot uh, file name. That's going to be our file name. If there is, that was this was not the case, only in that situation. We're just deleting all the things and uh, let's give it a try. Let's do a full refresh. Let's not upload a thumbnail for now. I'm gonna upload a video that's a little bit more longer, maybe this video title is gonna be test. We're gonna we're not gonna give any thumbnails. Start the uploading. It was 497 megabytes, so it just it maybe took a little bit of time. You can see it doesn't look good. We can just keep the 100 percent at the end of the thing. Okay, it did generate some thumbnail thumbnail and yeah. Congratulations guys, we are randomly generating some thumbnail out of the video. So don't worry, this is how it is uh, tilted because the video is it's so tilted. So yeah, that's why this thing is actually tilted. We didn't give any thumbnail, it will generate the thumbnail by itself. We give it a thumbnail, it will use the thumbnail. Okay? Well, that's the basic thing. And this should be .jpg, right? It should be random with the random UUID. And then we can save this thing inside, inside the database later on. Well, that was for this video. In the next video, we are going to generate previews using the FMPEG. And for the video. And I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day and bye bye and see you.